2009-2010 Madden Challenge made its way to Orlando, Florida and featured some of the best matches all season. One intense matchup had huge wild card implications. This is the rematch between the two former Madden Challenge champions in MLG Orlando. Problem and the Dallas Cowboys versus Fool and the Dallas Cowboys. I'm playing Fool, the 07 Madden Challenge winner. I'm the 08 Madden Challenge winner. I played him one time before in MLG Dallas, so I beat him there and hopefully same outcome here in uh, Orlando. Beat me by a field goal. Not going to make any excuses. Everybody knows I should have won the game. We both played good D and uh, I barely uh, squeaked it out. If I win, I basically guarantee a spot because I'm in the final four. I'm expecting a good defense and a okay offense, pretty effective offense. So I'm definitely going to have to play my A game if I want to win. I expect it to be a close game. Hopefully it turns out to be a good game and I pull out with, with the win. Early in the first quarter, Fool with the ball. He hands it off to Felix Jones. And look at the stick work as he avoids tacklers, taking the ball down the sideline for a huge game. But problems, defense is tough, and he's unable to convert in the red zone, taking an early lead, striking first, 3-0 in favor of Fool. And now problem with a problem of his own. Fourth and nine, he goes for the ball. Double coverage, it's knocked down. Turnover on downs. And later on, Fool has another drive opportunity in the second quarter. And what does he do? Stays with the ground game, picks up blocking, and another huge game for Felix Jones. And this time he's going to run again. But oh no, problem is there. This man makes adjustments, taking the quarterback down before he gets the handoff, holding Fool to yet another field goal, six to nothing. And now problem. He's got the ball. He throws over on a third down conversion. Huge jump ball. Roy Williams brings it down. And Felix Jones off the right side is going to score a touchdown, making the score 7-6. to six. It's still anybody's game. Uh, I'm playing great. <laughs> I'm playing great right now. I like my chance. He's good. Right? Told you it's going to be a defensive game. And problem with the ball in the third quarter. He hands it off to the right side. And look at the hole. He finds the room down the sideline. He's got all of Dallas chasing him. Finally brought down inside the 20. And now in the red zone, as we've seen all game, both defenses very tough as Fool sacks the quarterback and is going to hold problem to just three points, making the score 10 to six. And we fast forward to the final drive for Fool. And here we are, third and seven with under 30 seconds on the clock. He airs it out, jump ball. Jason Witten comes down with it. And this man is just going clutch all game. He needs to score a touchdown here as he goes for it. And it's, oh, incomplete knockdown in the end zone. He's got to get a score for a touchdown because three won't do it. Here he is, 15 seconds on the clock on the next play. He airs it out, user controls, comes down with it. Touchdown! And Fool is going to take the game 13 to 10. Fool ends up earning the final wild card spot in the 2009 2010 Madden Challenge Finals. I held him till like 12 seconds left, and he caught the ball in the end zone with no timeout. So it was my own fault. I should have never let that happen, but uh, I mean, I learned from your mistakes. I was playing great D, great offense. It was just a close game because it was just taking long for us to score. This game, there was no luck. It was just like who played better, and I came out at the end. Both players have one win apiece against each other, and both players will battle it out in the finals for the chance to be the first ever two-time Madden Challenge champion. PlayStation.